I'm a classic computer science nerd. So I would say always wanting to push the envelope, doing new innovative technology really drove me to do things on my own independently. And then I found people like me that wanted to do interesting, hard, creative things. And it was just a natural act for us all to get together and build companies. I always liked solving, you know, uh, analytical problems, computer science problems. So I remember thinking, how do I solve the next level scale? If you know computer science and databases, you know, the technology is seven years old and we're still repurposing those same data structures and algorithms. And I thought, let me start with some new core principles, throw away the old and say, what if I made information smaller than anything? right, then that's out there. I win. Making data small, I store it smaller, I move smaller, I process smaller. I was tinkering for, let's just say, at least seven, eight months, playing with bits, lack of a better term, you know, little bits of information, and the awakening happened of, wait a second, I think I came up with a new compression algorithm that makes data so small that other compression algorithms can't match. I did it in a way that can make it fast to compress, fast to ask the questions. And then my mind started just exploding. I'm like, how do I make this into a database index? How do I turn this into a product? I looked in Google and said, where's all this data being landed today? Cloud object storage, like Amazon S3. And no one was making it accessible, right? It was a temporary storage. I thought, what if I could transform that cloud storage into an analytical database? And then it kind of just took off from there. I'm an information theory person. I love to solve these type of problems. And so chaos um, is what I like to solve, meaning make chaos not chaotic. What if you create a product that at this scale, information or data is chaotic? What if you could search it? What if you could query it? And so the origin was chaos, because I wanted, I thought that was cool. And the idea to search the chaos is what we offer. It seemed like a good logical name. And, and to be frank, CS, computer science, chaos search, you know, I got a nerd out that way. Computer science and engineering and tech is creative. And the great thing about software in respect to engineering is you can do anything with it. So any idea you have, you can apply it. If you want to do someone else's idea, you can have a job. And you know, for me, the joy of using technology as a way to, to think, to communicate, to change um, is, is truly enjoyable. I would say the one thing with technology that I want all listeners is that it's hard. Expect it to be hard, but hard doesn't mean not fun. The hardness is the love, is the challenge. So everyone's not gonna like to hear this, I don't. <laughs> I have fantastic uh, family members. Um, I married someone that understood who I was very young. Actually, I knew her since elementary school. So uh, she knew I was going to be this person. Um, I merged them together, to be frank. Um, I think if you're a technical founder, a founder particularly, not necessarily a startup person, is you have to sacrifice um, to be successful. I mean, let's just be clear, if you're not committing three or four years of sacrifice, it's gonna be really hard. It doesn't matter if you're smart, clever, all that doesn't matter. It's it's putting the hard work in to move everything forward. So I wanna be very clear for all those future entrepreneurs that it's just a lot of work, but it's a lot of satisfying work. And hopefully you find people in your life that wanna go along that journey and make sure you ask <laughs> ahead of time before you, before you do anything like this. If there's an issue, to me, it's part of the process. You have to see issues to move a product forward or to solve a problem. So to me, there are no issues. They're just opportunities to solve more problems. So I know that sounds, it's not a cop-out. I really do believe it that I don't believe in failure because failure was how we got here. How we invented these ideas was to try something, see it work or not work, and then do something different. I think now the most satisfying thing for me is uh, the success of chaos search. You know, you bet hard 
on an idea, on a technology, you may be wrong, you may be right. And showing that we're building the right thing at the right time and it's solving the right problems, it's such a hard problem to guess because you're guessing five years ago, right? Think about think about anything you do in your life where you say in five years, all these different vectors are gonna collide into this one moment and you better be right. Um, iced coffee, black, unsweetened, um, but lots of ice. Well, I'm a transplant. I'm actually originally from the New York, Connecticut area. So for the last 15 years, I've been a Boston fan. So obviously the Pats, the Celtics, um, the Red Sox. It's really not cat or dog. It's a type of animal. I want them big. I want them nice and furry. And so we have a Mancun cat and I have a Newfoundland. So it changes over time. I think in college, I was into musicals, so Les Mis, <laughs> right? And all, all, all that, I'm a big musical person. But right now, um, I put YouTube on and I listen to uh, Space Time by PBS. I just you know wake up at four, 4.30, start the day, open the laptop, and uh, just repeat every day. So uh, I believe that entrepreneurs, if you're not an early morning person, you'll never do this. You know, if you're sleeping till 12 o'clock, Go work for a startup, don't start a startup. When I see Rodina, you know, talk about chaos, when she gets up on stage and says, I have this hot startup that I want you to tell you about, and I'm really proud of it. That to me is the best glass winning moment because uh, we achieve a goal that Rodina particularly wanted us to achieve.